Canadians came up big at the so-called Oscars of wildlife photography in the UK this year. The subtle but powerful images capture some stunning moments in the wild. CTV's Rachel Crow spreading wings on the winning shots and the photographers behind the lens. I couldn't believe it. Absolute sheer disbelief. This year, the winning shot came from BC's Shane Gross, a marine conservation photojournalist who focused on what's just beneath the surface. Photography is just a great way to uh, bring that world to life. I mean, not everybody can go snorkeling or scuba diving. So um, it's a it's a real honor to be able to show that world to people who otherwise wouldn't see it. The competition is considered the Oscars of photography. Jury chair Kathy Morgan says the winning photo features the unexpected. It's a species that you wouldn't expect to see in the competition, these tadpoles. And it's it's the energy and the light and just that that sort of sense of um, of excitement that that you, you almost feel like you're there and it's just this rush of water and tadpoles going past. Gross almost didn't believe he won. It was very surreal. I've I've been entering the competition since 2011 and it's, you know, the pinnacle of any wildlife photographer's dreams. So to have my dreams come true that day was mind-blowing. Canadian photographer John E. Marriott won in the animal portraits category showcasing a lynx family. There's only 11 categories. So, you know, it's an, an animal portraits is the single most contested one. It gets the most entries by far. Um, so, so it's pretty, pretty amazing to know that I had won. His advice to aspiring photographers is just start taking pictures. Nature is right outside the door. Gross says his main motivation for his submission was to help bring more attention to wetlands. They wanted to encourage photographers to pay attention to these areas to bring them more love and, and hopefully more protection. Rachel Crow, Spreading Wings, CTV News, Edmonton.